It's Lou and Lowell's travels here and today we have come to Stratford upon Avon. Yeah, it's very uh, bustling and busy today. So uh, we have been here before, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, quite a few years ago, we're talking now. But uh, yeah, we thought we'd visit again for the day and with the family. So uh, yeah, come round and uh, let's show you a bit of Stratford upon Avon. Yeah. <laughs> to Anne Hathaway's cottage. So this path that we've been following, um, quite a, a well apparently it's a mile from the city centre. So yeah, so from where we were earlier in the video, just walk sort of straight down um, away from the centre. Anne Hathaway's cottage was the family home of Anne Hathaway, who was William Shakespeare's wife-to-be. It is here that Anne was born and raised, and where the young Shakespeare would have visited her during the early part of their relationship. The cottage was built more than 500 years ago, and much of the original survives. So when the Hathaways lived here, when Anne was here, they were renting. In 1610, Bartholomew bought the cottage, started this wonderful extension... And then in the late 1700s, uh, the cotton trade eclipsed the wool trade. The wool trade fell out of favour. They started losing money. They tried selling parts of the land, but that wasn't sufficient. So they had to sell the cottage. And the man who bought the cottage saw potential for splitting into three cottages. Thank you. 
that concludes our lovely day out in Stratford upon Avon. Yeah, the particular weekend we went on was the Jubilee weekend, hence all the Union Jack flights. Yeah, it was very busy and very bustling. Very interesting place, uh, full of history. And uh, if you are thinking of going and you do like your history, you can get a joint ticket into Shakespeare's birthplace and Hathaway's cottage and Shakespeare's new place. So we'll pop the link for that down in the description below. Uh, yeah, so the boat ride was very pleasant as well. And I thought it was very interesting when we went past the uh, church where Shakespeare's grave is located. And also it was uh, interesting being in a lock. So we had to go through a lock, didn't we, where the water empty, well, lowered and then came back up to height for us to pass through, which was really interesting. Yeah, definitely. So all in all, a great day, highly recommended place to visit. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching the video. If you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to follow our future travels, then please hit the subscribe button. But yeah, so thanks again and uh, keep walking. walking. Bye. Bye.